All right, guys, so we're looking at the indoor unit. No air conditioning, uh, and we aren't going to be putting in any air conditioning. Um, uh, we do need a flue liner. It's going to be a two-story, and I'll go up to the top and see about how long it's going to be. But uh, unfortunately, we can't do a 90% because our water heater is feeding into there. So we're just going to come back with a flue. We're going to keep the existing, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to keep the existing um, furnace. It's a 30,000 BTU furnace, and uh, we're coming back with a um, 60,000 BTU uh, furnace. I'm sorry, water heater is 30,000. We're coming back with a 60,000 BTU furnace. Um, we do need to put it up on a base, so we're going to do a new return drop and a 5-inch media filter and put this one up on a base to get some water in here, and it just doesn't make any sense to keep it down on the ground. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll have to you know, adjust the plenum, and you can see they have that little opening there with it. If we can finish cutting that off and maybe put a little vent on it, just so we have a little bit of heat for uh, the basement when it's running. So just go up the plenum that's existing, and uh, you don't have to replace the whole thing if you don't want to on that. Just go up the plenum, plenum that's existing, put in a vent there, base down low to keep it out of the water, new return drop, and a 5-inch media filter, plus a flue liner. That should be it.